Now, as you can see, if we run VMware, we can see we have a new virtual machine here called Kali. And if I run that, I'm going to be able to run the virtual machine that we created in the previous videos. We can use this virtual machine now to test the security of uh, networks. The only thing is that I want to point out a few things before I start talking about networks and how we test the security of them, just so that everything is clear and uh, you won't have any questions about the setup that I'm using. So the first thing that I want to note too is uh, logging into the machine. We're just going to log in using the username root and the password that we created when we created the virtual machine. The second thing that I want to show you is that uh, how you connect your wireless card. As I said, if you're using a virtual machine, you will not be able to use your internal wireless card. You're going to have to use an external one. That's not, not a problem because external cards are more powerful and usually internal cards are not very well supported to do injection or to use it in monitor mode. I'll explain what these terms mean later, but basically just external cards are, are more powerful than internal cards. So to see the cards, the wireless cards that are available, uh, I'm going to use the terminal and I'm going to type a command iwconfig. And as you can see that there are no wireless cards connected. Now I'm going to connect my card through the USB. I'm going to give it a few seconds. And then I'm going to run iwconfig. Now as you can see I have an extra card here showing up, LAN0. That's the name of my external wireless card and that's how I'm going to be using it. So anytime I want to use it, I'm going to use the name LAN0. Now sometimes when you connect the wireless card, it doesn't show up here even after you connect it. So you'd want to go to virtual machine, you go to removable devices, and then select your wireless card from here. So here you can see it's that's the name of my wireless card and you should see connect. Now I see disconnect, so when I click on that it's actually going to disconnect my card. And if I run iwconfig, you'll see the card is gone. Now I'll just do it again if I go removable devices and I select my card and click on connect, give it two seconds and run iwconfig. And as you can see, I have LAN0 installed. Another thing that I noticed with this installation, this shouldn't happen, but uh, my sources were wrong. Sources are actually the URLs that your package manager uses when you try to install new programs or new libraries. So one of the sources was actually missing for some reason. So I just want to show you how to fix it in case you get the same problem. To see your source files, your sources, sorry, you just type in leafpad etc apt sources.list and you can see that the security one is here but I don't have the main source there should be a main source here so to get that just go to the internet and google Kali sources I actually have it open here so I'm just gonna google it so you see it's the first you get the first result and you'll see that the sources should be these two so I actually have the second one I just need to get the first one and I'm going to paste it here. I'll save this and close the file and that's it. Once you do that, do apt get update. And that's it. Now it's updated. Uh, you can install anything you want and it should work. The last thing that I want to show you is I'm a, when I do my course, I'm not going to be using this terminal window. I'm going to use a program called Terminator. Basically, it's exactly the same as this one, but it allows you to have multiple windows within the same window. So to install it, you can just type in apt-get install terminator. And it's downloading it now and installing it. And that's it. So if I go on applications, accessories, and Terminator is here. So that's what I mean. You can you can split the screen and you can have two screens and you run commands on them. 
that's it now you're actually completely ready to start learning how to test the security of networks